Hey, hello everyone, I'm Ming Asher, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Scarred Sword HD. In the last episode, we uh, got the Ballad of the Goddess song, and in this episode, we will be investigating the location that the Light Tower has illuminated. I just got out of the shower, so a little moist. Is there anyone that watches that doesn't like that word, moist? Moist. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, here we go. Wait, where are we going? Uh... That way. Into that big cloud over there. Over there. Let's go! Okay, this might. Oh, it's not that long of a trip. I was gonna say, I might have to skip ahead, but let's just mosey on over there. Little dust particle. Need a dust in here. No, dude. No. What a bad time for a tornado. There's a lot of tornadoes on the way to this thing. If I remember right, you gotta protect your your secret light sources thing. You know. Oh my. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like flying um, thingies. To try and get you. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to that thing? Dude, is that like a little rainbow? It's cute. Let's see what's down there first. Nothing's down there. Ooh, what's up here? I'm very notorious for like checking out side things when I should be going um, towards a main mission. Can't help it. I just don't want to miss it, you know what I mean? See, we wouldn't have got that monster horn if I hadn't come over here. Hmm. I see another chest up there, but I'm pretty sure we have to unlock it um, with the goddess cube, and I have not done that, so I'm not going to waste our time. Dude, that looks so cool, him flying down in the rain. We gotta do that again. What's this other... Yeah. Ooh, Master James, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Island of Songs. Uh, signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Go do what I planned on doing anyway. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the Great Tower on the Isle of Songs. Okay. This thing. Whoa! I hit it, and things moved. Okay. 
So I'm guessing those block the uh, the way of some of these things. Whoa, dude! I gotta get them all like going the same way you notice that the the one I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen I'm stupid <laughs> the, uh, the innermost one is now lined up with the the second one um, I need that outer one lined up though Um, no. There we go. Now, those two are lined up. Now, let's push it this way. Get this one to stop. And now they're all lined up. Yay! Pull that down. Oh yeah, James is the puzzle master. What, who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Let's crawl in here. Hit that thing with a skyward strike. Master James, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place to the edge of time. Sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also learn, earn relics known as three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key. Opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Pharaoh Woods. Cool, man.
That song is called Fairworth Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. You learn Fairworth Courage! Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flame. I've committed Fairworth's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Faron Woods as soon as you are ready. Alright, going to Faron Woods. You're out of my face. Let's go. And you can tell I look tired. <laughs> Had a long day. This light's also not very flattering. But how do I get off this thing? Oh. That looks so cool. Love flying through down in the rain. Is there anything of note? This. <gasps> there is. There's a chest up there. But I can't get it either. We're, I guess we're gonna have to come back to this place. Whoa, dude. There's a lot of these guys. Okay. Do the green one. No. No. Just leave me alone. I'm just a lad. In search of a sacred flame. What is that? He's got money! I want that money. But not bad enough to stop what I'm doing. Woohoo! Back to Faron Woods. <clears throat> How am I supposed to know where to go? I'm assuming I go to the viewing platform. I've detected the aura of a trial gate nearby. You can pinpoint the origin of this aura using dowsing. I conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs, Pharaoh's Courage, will reveal the gate. Okay. So. Right there. <laughs> Found it! Where I do take out the uh, the heart. Oh, I did it. I, I suck at this.
so much concentration. <laughs> Something here is reacting to our performance of Fairward's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. Yeah, I, we can see that. I calculated 90% possibility that this mark is a trial gate as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on the Isle of Songs. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark on the ground before you. Yes, ma'am. How do I do that? Oh. How magical. You guys like my shirt? It's Zelda. Well, it's not Zelda. It's, um, the Hylian Crest. But that's from Zelda. Master James! As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm. Oh, you expected that, did you? I, I have no idea what's going on. I cannot follow you into this realm, for the trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as the Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, Fairwar's Silent Realm tests the limits of your courage. Your spirit is temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. Keep, no one better be doing any weird things to my body while I'm gone. I've been hurt before. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. Dude, look at that thing behind me. You got the spirit vessel! This mysterious plant represents your spirit. That's my spirit? When the vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to grow. This in turn will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as the Tear of Faeror. You there are a lot of instructions. There are many of them spread across the strange world. Whoa. Master, you see the glowing object just in front of you? That is a Tear of Faeror. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not as simple a task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for a good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. Well, that's nice. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Please do not. Oh gosh. Here we go. Not good, dude. Not good. All right, 90 seconds. I bet that guy's gonna give away my location. Location. Master James. The unusual liquid substance that covers this area is known as waking water. And it has a certain unique properties. If you make contact with waking water, the guardians will immediately al be alerted to your presence. Pools of waking water are located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch for your step. 
Well, isn't that nice? There's one up there. I bet there is. Hmm. Hmm. What's this thing? You got a light fruit. Ooh. Ooh, it makes them easier to see. We like that. Pretty loud. Nice. I don't. I can't use my items here, dude. Dude. Hello. That is a big, scary great axe you have. But a great act it is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, another one. But the dust relic. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. Ooh, another desk relic. And I has? I, I have. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh no! No! Link, Link, Link! You can't do that! Why is it not... You know what? Here's it. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, let's go and get that one right in front of him. <laughs> well, that wasn't very smart. It's okay, we can go back for it. Hey look, there's another one over here. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. You're stupid. You're stupid, you can't even find me. I bet whenever we find all of them... Dude, hey, it's another dust crowd. Can I get you? Nice. I bet when we find all of them... <gasps> Waking water. I bet when we find all of them, um... We have to make like a mad dash. For the beginning, like where we started. And, uh... They'll all be awake. Oh, I can't see. Hmm. Hmm. Check me grabs. There we go. I can see that one. Now where do we go? Oh, there's one. That guy's. Hi. 
Uh, give me the heebie jeebies. Okay, two more. Where? Made it. Ooh, there's one. I'm too greedy. I'm greedy. I need the dust credit. Okay. Grab this. That's where we gotta make the mad dash to. This should have been the last one we got. Why did I not make that the last one we got? Dude, I can't see where the other one is. Other one, where are you? You know, those beams of light aren't very high, because I can't see nothing. Watch me have picked, like, the, the worst one to, to be the last one. Dude, I almost jumped down. Where do I go? No! No! That is a bad noise. That is a very bad noise, sir. Run! Run! Oh no! Gosh! That was so fast! That was so fast! I gotta do it all again? I won't make you guys watch me do it all again. But, oh my gosh. Alright, well, let me collect all of them again, and, uh, I will get, I will, I will, I will resume. Alright guys. I strategically did it so, oh this was the one that we missed last time by the way, I strategically collected them so that this one right here is going to be the last one we collect and so we can just make a mad dash for the center. Hopefully make it in time. Collected every last tier of Feyror. Tame spirit is grown. The trial will continue until you exit the silent realm. Proceed with caution on your way back to the entrance so you can claim proof of your spiritual growth. Whoa, I don't even have to make it like a mad dash. Like, I thought for sure it'd be like, okay, now they're all after you. Cool. We done did it. You got the Water Dragon Scale. The sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. Well, that is a, a power up if I've ever heard of one. Dude! Big Chubby again. What up? Congratulations, Master James. You have passed the trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The great spirit of the water dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. 
The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of the area you have not explored. What up, big chubby? Alright, well, that's where we're going to end the episode off. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you in any way, then please leave a like. I always appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next one where we will be talking to Big Tubby here and finding the next Sacred Flame. So, have a good one.